Welcome back. And uh, News Hour continues. With me now is uh, Wycliffe Ambetsa of Paranya, the pioneer governor, Kakamega County. He served also as a council of governor chairperson during the 10 years, first 10 years of devolution. He is the deputy party leader, Orange Democratic Movement, and also the chairman of Azimio Executive Council, if I'm not wrong. And obviously, now they are saying Oparanya is a likely successor of Raila Dinga. Why are we talking about a likely successor of Raila Dinga? Where is he going? Where, where, is, he going? where is he going? For, for, he going? for <laughs> someone to think of succession. Uh -huh. You know, in, uh, in my culture, you don't discuss succession of someone when he's still alive. Okay. Yeah, we don't do that. But you can't avoid uh, this. Unless, unless yeah. now, it's yeah. definitely that he's going to resign uh -huh. or he's going somewhere. I know he's not going far. If he gets the post, he's not going far. He will be around. Okay. Yes. But then it's imminent. Uh -huh. Politics, you can't leave a vacuum in politics. Someone will feel it. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yes. But you see, we still have a whole year. To talk it's, about it. Yeah, to talk living. about it. Uh, yeah, it's not living tomorrow. And, and also to talk about or, not or living. next month, it's <laughs> not living. <laughs> or talk about not living. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so uh, he, you, you don't want to talk about succession. I'm going to talk about it in the second yeah, hour. Yeah, you can talk yeah. yourself. You are, you are free to talk, <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> yes. But Raila is not going anywhere. Yeah. But tell me, mm. is the government still harassing you in court? Yeah, you'll expect someone in my position to yeah. be harassed. Do you imagine a governor who has served 10 years, clean record, that after you have left the office, you are being harassed on corruption? Have you heard of that? That someone has complained after I have left the office? So where were they? Not during the time? Not during my time. Probably because you are protected, you had, yeah, you had yeah, all the instruments. Because, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, my, many governors have been, uh, you know, investigated. So you still stand on this, that the government is harassing you? It's an har Why are they harassing, harassing you? you? I don't know, maybe because of the position I've taken, I'm in opposition, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's jealousy from some quarters of what I'm doing, I don't know. At some but point, I'm ready to face them. At some point, there yeah. was a lot of whispers that you are going to be among the people who are going to cross over to Kenya Kwanzaa. That just disappeared. Did you cross I, over I, the night I, and I, come I, back I, during the day? No, 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 I, I have never thought of that. So I don't know where the talk was coming from. Mm. I've never thought of crossing. And you've never been approached to go to uh, Kenya? Of, of course, approaches will be there. Mm -hmm. But I've never thought of that. OK. Yes. So these two cases that <coughs> are in court, because I know, I think sometimes in September of 2023 and also in Feb, there are two cases. I'll not talk about the cases. I mean, these are cases that logically, before you are even looked for by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, they may have investigated. No merit on these things. Yeah. I mean, I know it's in court. Yeah. Yeah. You but don't see the reason why they should be coming. Yeah, here. because they have even not written a statement from me, so I don't know. So what happened when you went to the EACC? You spent hours there. No, I never went to be interrogated. Okay. I went there just to collect uh, my phones. They had taken my phones and my web phones. So okay. I went to collect. I was never inter interrogated. No And you can answer. confirm with them. They have never interrogated me. They watch this show religiously. Yes, before I the end of the I show, they shall have sent me a message. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you. Yes, yeah. let them send you a message. Yeah, I, 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 I just hear the way you hear it. And I hope they are hearing. <laughs> they are hearing. Yeah, yeah, they, they watch hearing. this show yes, religiously. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. They have never. Uh -huh. Yes. I am going to Kakamega on Friday. Yes. We have a big event in Kakamega yeah, for the, climate action. Yes. Yes, at yeah. Masile Muliro. Yeah. But I was in Kakamega. I've been to Kakamega a few times. I had yes. a brother at Kakamega High School. So yes. the kind of development that I, I saw in Kakamega, yeah. one of the things that was said about you is that you were pro-development. What would you say in 10 years, I left this for the people of Kakamega? Uh, one, uh, uh, first of all, uh, you know, we were the pioneer governors. So being pioneer governors, we had to come up with the structures. Structures that will enable you to govern and deliver on development. So I made sure those structures were there. And unless you work through structures, then accountability becomes an issue. So I made sure structures are there, mm -hmm. and anybody who will go to, uh, to, go to the, the governor's position mm -hmm. will establish that. Okay. Secondly, I... I, I I took time to plan. It took me the first two years planning what I wanted to do. I consulted widely with the people, 
of Kakamega. And then they gave me their priorities. I had also my priorities, which I had promised the people. And I made sure I go for uh, projects that would add value to the people. I, I started a big hospital. It was going to be one of the biggest hospitals in this country. Uh, it is there. I spent about uh, two billion that time. Okay. It needs just another half a billion, and it will be operational. That, uh, yeah, that is the first phase. Mm -hmm. I, I, I built uh, Bukongo Stadium because I wanted to attract international matches or international conferences in Kakamega. It is there. And, and we saw and what happened during the yeah, school games. Yeah, you yeah, saw yeah. what happened. You saw, you saw yes. that. Mm -hmm. That that improves on the economy of of, of Kakamega. Yeah. I started. Uh, programs in agriculture that actually uh, f uh, f uh, deficit of food which was there uh, was now a thing of the past because most of the time uh, our people would wait for lorries from from Kitale to bring maize mm -hmm. when I was there that thing uh, was never there again mm -hmm. because of the programs I came up with. Okay. Yes. What is one <coughs> simple thing that you would say the current governors, because you set up the systems, you know, devolution, no one had tried and tested devolution at that time. Mm -hmm. What is the biggest headache you think? There's the issue of funding for counties. That was an issue during your time and it's still an issue. But what is the biggest headache that you think the current uh, third uh, crop of governors or even second in counties like yours are facing currently in, this, in, in the it, counties? It, the, the most important one is actually actually cash flow. Cash flow. Cash flow has been a problem even when we were there. But here it's now worse. But when we were there, we could stay two months, three months, mm -hmm. then we get disbursement. Unless that cash flow is managed, it will become difficult to develop counties. Mm -hmm. Because you can't plan without, unless you know money. when money will come in. Mm -hmm. Then we, you keep on borrowing to pay salaries. You are using borrowed money to pay salaries, and people are not working. You're borrowing from commercial banks, yes, yeah, yeah. and paying back with interest. Yeah, in the no, process, of yeah, money. yeah, yeah. They don't charge you interest. Oh, you they know, don't charge they, interest. They, yeah, okay. then they charge something to the, the staff, and the staff will not mind mm -hmm. being charged for processing their payroll. Mm -hmm. They will not mind because you can't stay three months without, without a salary. Mm -hmm. So, and if you are paying staff, they are not working for three months because money is not there. Mm -hmm. So you find that the effective time of working is only about four or five months in a year. Because of the pe so periods that they yeah, go with so, salary. Yeah, so, yeah, and then bureaucracy. There is a lot of bureaucracy also. Mm -hmm. Control of budget, taking time to approve and so on, delays and so on. So those, if they are not looked at, mm -hmm. it will uh, really affect the devolution. The advantage that pioneer governors like you <coughs> and several other governors, I think there are about 21 that uh, yeah. finished their term. Yeah. Uh, they, they say the pioneer governors were like Kula Vizuri. Only Kula Vizuri. Kula and There are no structures. Because, uh, there are no structures. So no. you're establishing the structures. No, but so pioneer uh, governors made let, money. Let me tell you, I don't know who made the money. Me, I never made any money at all. And uh, we are audited every year. The, uh, the audit general, audits, uh, audits you, mm -hmm. and all expenditure is also approved by the control of budget. So where will you get the loophole mm -hmm. to steal? I wouldn't know. Maybe those who formed their own companies, I yeah, would want someone to confirm if Oparanya did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ESCC, they are there. The, the people who are auditing me can confirm. Okay. Yes. I know we are going to talk about uh, the issue of AU and what's happening in ODM and extension by extension ESCC. Mm. But I want to ask because I think I have about two minutes before I end this. Um, Western Kenya block. What's your view of Western Kenyan block, especially with the inroads made by the president? Is it still uh, your stronghold or he managed to hive a huge chunk to Kenya Kwanzaa? When did he hive the huge Jan? Look at the number of elected yeah. positions and the top government officials, number yeah, four in the yeah, government, yeah. comes from Western Kenya. Yeah, at, 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 the, at the moment, you, you, you know very well that uh, we have the majority of the seats in Western. We That's don't in, the, in, in Parliament? Yeah, in Parliament. Yes. We have the majority in the three counties at MCA. the county assembly. Yes. Uh, Kakamega, Biga, and uh, Busia. We have the majority. We are majority members of parliament. Mm -hmm. We have governor, the three governors mm -hmm. in Kakamega, Busia, uh, and, uh, and, and, and Viga. They are, gov they are ODM mm -hmm. governor. Mm -hmm. So you can see 
That is really our stronghold. Mm -hmm. We will know maybe if he will have it next election. But at the moment, you as hold, I go the, the ground, we yeah. still hold the mm -hmm. ground. Mm -hmm. Because I'm there every other day. <laughs> <laughs> and I will feel. And you understand the I ground. Have, I understand the ground. So I the know, ground still says I know here. every corner of, of, of Kakamega uh -huh. and Western. If I make a phone call, even if I meet it now and ask how is the ground, they will, people will tell me. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the ground is still saying ODM? It's still ODM, uh -huh. still as mu. Okay. I would rather use as mu than use ODM. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so um, the fact that we have very many top government officials from Western Kenya, how has that uh, also impacted? Which, which top? Uh, from, from, from this... You Peter. see, people yeah. don't eat positions. People want development. So can you tell me which development that has come from this government? That will be more it's important to me. Like yeah, appointments for, is for individuals. Mm. When you are appointed, or if those people who have been appointed, whom have they helped, will say they have helped employ two of the, our people, which ones? Uh, which development? We will be more interested in development than appointments, mm -hmm. because that's critical. We were told we will have 1,000 kilometers of tarmac, that we are still waiting for that. We were told we would be given 30% of the government. So you have told me few. Is that 30%? Mm -hmm. That's what we are waiting for. Based on what they brought in. Yeah. How, yeah. how many kilometers of road, for example, did you do when you were in Kakamega? 240 kilometers. 240 kilometers. In 10 years. Tamak, yes. As a governor. As a governor. That's remarkable. Yes. How, how many, is there a comparison? Because you go to COG, you went to COG and discussed. Is there a county that did probably? Uh, I, I, I wouldn't want to comment on that. Yes. Yeah, I wouldn't, because you I would, be, I would, I would be biased. <laughs> no, I would rather someone, someone would go and compare. Yes. Yeah, is but, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, I okay. would not want to comment on that. Okay, yeah. stay with us. We're coming back. We have a lot to discuss today. Yeah. Specifically, the Africa Union Commission. Yeah. There's already, the other day, Mamangili was asking in Homa Bay, yeah. Baba. Umetupanga. Uh, Umetupanga. Mtapangwa, ama mtajipanga. Mtajipanga. Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya stays with us. We are back after business and sports. Stay with us. Ahead in business news, credit prices adjusted upwards with a central bank rate now standing at